Hello Cyanogen Mod users, recently there has been a change in the way we can get updates for our Cyanogen Mod for the HP Touchpad, playing Cyanogen Mod 9. Here in the Roots Wiki forum, Red Flea was kind enough to post, uh, let us know about the changes uh, made uh, by Delingren. Uh, he is going to be posting on Twitter now, nightly updates, so we can download with changes to try out and test on our Cyanogen Mod device. So basically, we can go to Twitter, we can follow what's happening on the CM Tenderloin thread. I had to make an account, you may too, if you want to follow and see the nightly updates. And we just go into here, we can download them. And what we're going to do is download that file, put it into our CM install file, and replace the 0.6 file, delete it out of there, and use this in its stead. Uh, we're going to want to do a full uninstall with the Acme uninstaller. And we're also going to want to wipe the caches. Here we can download the update. I can give you a little advice on wiping caches quickly. I have a program here called System Tuner. I have the Pro version. Now the App Manager allows me to clear the caches and wipe the Dalvik very quickly with one button instead of uh, rebooting. And then I could go straight in to uninstalling with the Acme uninstaller, removing all the data and then starting over with this update in the file and this will be a nightly thing that we can test out much like all the updates uh, we can find updated information for the incremental little updates here long list provided to us the most recent here in this list uh, would be to a preference to disable the boot animation for a faster boot time and now this will be a nightly thing so you can expect little changes that benefited us and also little bugs that will hinder us. Uh, now you're going to want to go and follow in the Roots Wiki forum what people are saying about the nightly updates. In the 0 0.6 thread, a lot of people are already talking about it. And you're going to want to go in there and keep up to date. A lot of people have been saying that the DPI settings, the LCD density, has been off by a little bit in this first update, and the screen will be cropped so that you know you get a little cutoff here, say like that. Um, now this is easily fixable, but in little things like this, uh, it's good to be kept up to date on. Uh, so now this is going to be the new way until there is a more substantial build uh, that we can get updates. And it's very interesting and very kind for them to provide it to us like this so we can try it out, see how it works for us. Uh, now as mentioned, be sure to thank the Eyeballer and Team Win for making these updates possible to us and Darlinger for uh, helping us out with this. Anyways, uh, I hope you found this a little bit informative. This is going to be a nightly change so you want to keep up to date on the Twitter find out what's happening try it out for yourself and also keep up to date in the roots wiki forum anyways thanks for watching please like and subscribe I'll keep you up to date if this changes